Welcome dear students to this course basic computer literacy and numerals. We are not going to see computer basics. A computer it is an electronic devices that is used to process data. It can convert information into it convert data into information that is used for two people. Computer include four distinct parts: C, hardware, software, data, and the user. You see, this is the user that are on computer. Hardware are here. Software is installed on the computer. Computer data is information that is required by the computer to be able to operate. It is used to run a program to store information. Computer user, it is the person as you have seen on, as you have seen here, it is the person who is using the computer or who work on computer. A computer is made of central processing unit, monitor, keyboard, and mouses. As a piece of hardware, I refer to as peripherals. Many part of computer are two hardware and software. What is hardware? It is any part of computer that has a physical structure that has computer monitor or keyboard. It is best described as a device that is physically connected to a computer or something that can be physically touched. We have internal hardware and external hardware examples here you can cd room see hardware monitor those are internal hardware external hardware you can see mouse keyboard scanner and printer software it is any set of instruction that tell hardware what to do it is a collection of instruction that enable user to interact with the computer or to have computer performance specific tasks example internet browse allow you to visit the page and operate the system that the browse is running on that software software they are not visible but they are an invisible part that they can work on hardware devices they are installed inside the computer don't think you take like if you want to install the op any operating system on your computer if you want to install for example adobe reader those are software computer types we have many types of computer they are personal computer workshop workstation computer server computer etc desktop computer as you see it is looks like this one you see this is the monitor this is the cpu this is the keyboard and this is the mouse laptop computer as you see on this part it all accessories are combined it is not like the desktop computer you see each part is separately Workstation computer are similar to desktop computers, but they are more powerful and are usually connected to network. Other kind of computer is the server computer, which are specialized com computer that is store and deliver information to the other computer on the network for example i can tell an example of for moodle if you are here you are using the moodle platform the server is installed somewhere that information will accessing them from the server you do your exam your thesis your what on moodle but no more information is on the server that computer with store all information where you can go and open and access the information it is the server through network 
generation is of computer there are five generation of computer first generation was the vacuum tube it was discovered in 1940 up to 1956 the second generation was transistors third generation integrated circuits the first generation microprocessor the fifth one artificial intelligence which was based on artificial intelligence are still developing through there are some applications such as voice recognition that are being used today each generation of computer it has its own characteristics basic part of computer desktop are computer case monitor keyboard mouse and power cords as they have shown on the above these are terms are used are things that notice right away when you look at desktop computer computer case it is here this one it is the computer case you see the monitor those are monitors two different types of monitor rcd and that one you see here we have this one which is black and this which is different from this one. All those are types of monitor. Keyboard we have this one. It is the hardware that you can use to type to enter information in the computer. I can tell you that this keyboard is an input devices. It has function keys, enter keys, control keys, backboard keys, cast control pad, or doors. Here we have function keys. This is numerical keys. This is the desk. This we are used to type. They are alt, other keys, tab, insert, what. All those are the keys of desktop of keyboard for desktop computer mouse it is this one it is also an input devices there are too many types of mice and optical mouse electronic mouse to detect movement and easily to clean mechanical mouse uses rolling they are optical mouse and mechanical mouse. Optical mouse yeah. use the electronic eyes to detect movement and easier to clean. The mechanical mouse use rolling bar to detect movement. This is the front of the case for computer, back side of the case. One we have PS2, Ethernet, audio, VGA, USB port, all those are on this side. You see those are PS2 ports, this is VGA ports, USB ports, network ports. Peripheral you can see there are many. Headsets, microphones, printer, scanner. See, this is the touch, touch phone or iPad. Inside the computer, there are many different parts. The memory, the CPU, RAM. This is the CPU is here. RAM here is this one. RAM power sub supply. This one network card is here then hard disk driver this one where we insert cd this is which gives the computer power supply to give the computer the um, power ram where it is stores elizable information and the cpu which is the memory which is the central processing unit of computer this is where we insert cds
as you can see on this part this one you will have control cpu automatic logic unit and control unit they are in a cpu here we have input devices they pass through cpu and to the output devices those are memories lam can see external memories cds those are external memories this is memory ram which is stored inside the computer And too many parts of CPU controller unit automatic logic unit. The control unit directs data flow through the CPU and to or from other devices. Automatic logic unit, the actual manipulation of data takes place in automatic logic unit. The automatic logic unit can perform automatic and logic operations. This one control unit, it controls unit directly the flow of data through the CPU. While a logic unit, it manipulates, calculates arithmetic and logical units. We have two types of memory, RAM and ROM. RAM, it is a random access memory in full, it is plus in a computer. It is the one which is erasable. If we store any information on RAM, while the power goes off, it is last. It keeps temporary information. While random access memory, it is non volatile memory. It is permanently. If you store information, it cannot be erasable while the power is off. The LAM it is in an a volatile memory, it cannot keep information after power goes off. It's temporary storage devices. While alone it is permanent storage devices. The binary number we have um, excuse me. Those are Law of memory, RAM and RAM, ROM. Those we have two kinds of memory. I told you that RAM it is RAM, a volatile memory. Whether ROM it is non volatile memory. It keeps the information always, even after the power goes off for the two computers or laptop the computers. RAM it is a lossable memory. Whether the power goes off, the information turns off directly. You need the information. Binary numbers we have it is the numbers we a base two rad or radix two. Binary numbers you see the number B binary two. We normally we have two symbols for any number zero and one. They use radix of two. Now we have other decimal numbers the decimal numbers have radix 10 we can take num binary numbers and convert it into decimal number or decimal number and convert it to binary numbers for example you can see here 100, 118 in base 10 in binary numbers we take that number and divide by 2 by 2 each process by two by two until you reach zero then to get each binary number you take from the side one one zero at it from the back one 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 zero one one zero and put radix two decimal to binary conversion it is if you want to convert a decimal number to binary conversion or binary to decimal and take binary number to decimal you have to count from the back you see here you put radix 2 it's 2 times time 2 and 
zero at the top do it like this one to expose